Um, I wrote this song because I was purged from the voting rolls at the last election. <laughs> and obviously I'm not the first person to deal with voting rights issues. So I was inspired by many American heroes. And first, I just want to thank Rack for giving us the grant to produce this. Thank Reverend Mark Knutson and Augustana for having us, giving us the time and space. Choir director Judy A. Rose for her leadership. And singers Cassidy Bacon, Melinda Buckles, Amber C. Cobb Jr., Angelica Hess, Maria Carlin, Marilyn DePipes Keller, Shohei Kobayashi, Carolyn Quick, Drew Swatosh, and Evan Shank. Some of the people, a few of the people who inspired me as I was writing this were George Washington because no taxation without representation is a voting rights issue. And so imagine the courage and determination of George Washington, outgunned, outmanned, eating his horses to keep his troops in the field, and his men deserting, trying desperately to create this nation of ours. Another American hero whose courage and determination inspired me is Sojourner Truth, who was born into slavery in New York and later in her life, they were abolishing slavery, but her son, even though he would have been free if he had stayed in New York, was sold into the Deep South illegally. And she became the first black woman to successfully sue a white man in court. And she got her son, Peter, back into freedom. Sojourner Truth became one of the greatest advocates for voting rights for people of color and also for women because we've only had voting rights for a little over 100 years. Medgar Evers, an American hero who fought for freedom and in World War II in Europe and came back to the United States and he couldn't get a library card and he could not vote. And he became a passionate advocate, one of the founders of the NAACP and even after his home was firebombed, he taught his children and wife how to keep themselves safe if they were attacked, and he kept right on registering people to vote until he was murdered for it. Congressman John Lewis, who was one of the first practitioners of nonviolent civil disobedience in the United States, because he knew that if he protested violently, they would just say he's a criminal and dismiss him. And if he did not protest, nothing would happen. So he was one of the founders, the teachers of nonviolent civil disobedience. His skull was fractured at a march and with love in his heart and a bandage on his head as soon as he got out of the hospital, he was out marching for freedom again. Our own Senator Merkley is one of the supporters of the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. And even though it's been passed in the House, they cannot get a vote on it in the Senate because democracy is designed that it's designed for debate. We take my good ideas and your good ideas and we talk about them and come up with something even smarter. But at the moment, the filibuster is being misused to stop debate entirely. They can't even get a debate in the Senate on the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. So I want to thank all of you for being here and thank the singers for sharing their voices and the voices of these and many other American heroes that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thank you.